All right, so we're just about ready for first boot. I've got everything powered up. Uh, and the we'll, first thing we'll be doing is hitting the BIOS and hopefully setting up all six of these drives for RAID 10, if not RAID 5. And I've mentioned it before, but I may as well do it again now. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Drives, and what that means is you take a bunch of drives and you can put them all together to act as one big drive. There's a few different ways to do that. You can set up two drives or more so that, uh, and there they all are there now, nice. Let me just get into the configuration space here. Missed it, so let me try again. Alright, so here we are going for first boot. And what I'm going to do now is set up my drives as a RAID setup. There we go. So uh, there's three basic kinds, 0, 1, and 5. You can add 0 plus 1, which they count as RAID 10. And uh, let me go over them really quick. RAID 0 means you take any two drives and you split data between the two drives. So essentially you double your speed. Problem is if either drive fails, you lose everything but you double your speed for efficiency. A RAID 1, you write the information to both drives, so if one drive fails, you still have another copy. That's the safest way to go. A RAID 10, or 0 plus 1, means you stripe the data first, which means splitting it, stripe, between two drives, and then that gets mirrored. So you get the speed plus the redundancy, and if any one of those four drives fail, you can slap another win without any problems. Potentially, you could have two drives fail, but they'd have to be two specific drives. One stripe and one backup, or two backups, but the stripes can't fail. Those are the first ones in the chain. And then there's RAID 5. RAID 5 takes any amount of drives, three to six, and it gives you all that data storage except for one. So in this case, if I put all six drives, which are two terabytes, into a RAID 5, I'll get 10 terabytes of space. Any one drive can fail, and I can still put a new one in and have that rewritten. So what I'd like to do is take all six of these drives and turn them into a RAID 10, so I get the speed and the redundancy. So uh, in the BIOS here, let's go to Create RAID. We'll call it Array, but you can name it anything. So what we'll be doing is going for RAID 10. Select disks. Uh, select four disks to use in creating a volume, so I can't use all six. Some RAID programs will allow as many drives as you want as long as there's an even amount but I guess in this case the Intel matrix storage manager will not allow that so what we'll do is escape go back to raid we'll call this array 1 or let's call it raid 10 TB We'll call this, oops, array 5, and we'll go select all six drives. Done. Now there are a few different sizes for the strip size, and it all depends on what you want to do. They give you a couple typical values here. And uh, we'll just go with the default of 64.
I'm going to guess that's uh, the maximum mount. Two. Doesn't seem right, but we'll go with it for now. We can always delete it. Go for yes, because these drives are empty, but if you had other stuff on here, you would lose it. Now we'll exit. Yes? And what we'll be doing now, uh, let's go in, oh, I think I missed that one. Let's see if we can set that one up while we're at it, too. I also have two other drives that are just going to be the system drive. That means my C drive for the Windows OS program installs and maybe a scratch disk if I've got room. These are the two drives are Western Digital Raptors. They spin at 10,000 RPM. There's a few drives out there that go that speed. There we go. So you can see the setup is a little different here. So there's a chance here that I may not be able to do this. Oh, it's already set up? Hmm. So I guess I already did this at some point, but I didn't think I did. So we'll just escape F10. Yes. And we'll put the Windows install disk in here. And from here on out, it's just a matter of sitting around waiting for Windows to do its thing. which can take a while. So that's really about it. I wanted to cover the RAID specifically and uh, once Windows is all set up you saw that the RAID was last set at initialize which means that it's just about ready to go. What I have to do now is format the drive which in this case is going to take a while. So uh, I'll catch up with you in a little bit and I'll see you then. See you. Actually, I may as well pick up here. Windows 7 Professional 64-bit is what this program is here. And uh, right off the bat, it's asking me where I want to install Windows. So uh, we've got uh, unallocated space. Again, I don't know why that says 2761 gigs. It should say 10. But uh, we'll roll with it. Oh, 10 terabytes, rather. 10, yeah, terabytes. So that's a little strange there. We'll check into that later because we're putting Windows onto disk 1 unallocated space, 138 gigs. So what I want to do is create a C drive of, let's call it 55 gigs. Actually, let's even make it like 51,500. And what I'll do with the balance of the 87 is format that later. So, disk 1 partition 2, yes. Let's go with uh, Alt F for format. And we'll go for next. I'll pick up on the raid again in a little while. See ya. And once you have Windows set up, the first thing you gotta do is install all your motherboard drivers. So this will get the Ethernet going, the onboard sound, uh, 
Should get the RAID driver going, so I get that 10 terabytes rocking. What else do we got here? The chipset drivers, audio, HCI, USB 3 driver, that'll be nice. And uh, that's all cool. Oh, it looks like normally Windows you do not need a mouse to get around with. You can do everything by keystrokes. However, this program looks like it wants a mouse. So I'm going to have to go find myself one of them and install that. Fortunately, they work by default. That's definitely too bad. One thing about Windows 7 that I really hate is if you hold down the Alt tab, it gives you a preview of whatever the other window is. And I hate that. All I want is the little icon and it flips through everything and I can't see shit. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. So that's it for this one. So it's pretty much as I expected. As I'm going through the list here of stuff to install, I'm at the Intel Matrix Storage Manager driver and automatically upon setting that up it immediately gave me all the two terabyte drives status initializing four percent done this could take all night so uh... i might just go to bed some of these other drivers here may require reboots and i don't want to do that while the raid is initializing that can be a bad thing so i think that is all for today If you ever have any computer questions, definitely shoot them along. I don't know everything about them, but uh, certainly enough to maybe help you troubleshoot a real quick issue or two. Or at least maybe point you in the right direction. There will probably be a couple more installments in this series. We'll see. But other than that, thanks for watching as always. See ya.